Bring on the chrome, the neon, and the singing, and dancing waitstaff. One of Chicago's most iconic retro eateries, Ed Devevix, is back. And this time it's in a brand new location. Yeah, six years ago, remember they shut down the original location in River North. Well, they've reopened this time around in Streeterville. And we're taking you behind the counter with Travis Cross. Good morning to you. Good morning. Hey, so uh, this is a revival a lot of people have been looking forward to. My first question is this, is there any difference between the dining experience six years ago and what folks are gonna experience today? We're gonna have the same sassy service, same dancing on the counters, just brand new place, brand new shiny venue. I gotta ask you, where, so. where do these insults come from? <laughs> like, how do you guys pull this out? Do you just like look at the person and say, I'm gonna, target them for this, that, and the other, or is this just we, like an innate ability that you have, it's just you're born with it? <laughs> we find the grumpiest people we can <laughs> during a long interview process. We decide if they're salty enough, and then if they pass the test, then yeah, they get a job. I love it. I wish I, you guys were around when I was in college because at my restaurant, if you looked even cross-eyed at a customer, they showed you the door. I want to talk about some of the legendary menu items, you know, Ed's mom's meatloaf, world's smallest Sunday. Are they back as well? They are back. We, right now we have the meatloaf sandwich. We are going to get plates and stuff as we get further into it. We're expanding our menu all the time, so all the old favorites will be back for sure. What do you think it is about the, the place that just has people coming back year after year? Is it they love to be insulted or is it just a great experience uh, when you walk away kind of shaking your head but like, hey, that was kind of cool? Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's an escape from the outside world and you get to come in and just have fun, get poked fun at, poke fun at others and just forget about all the, all the stuff going on outside, get some entertainment with your food. Yeah, so. no kidding. And, and you know, you're, you're opening uh, at an interesting time because a lot of restaurants, you know, we've reported repeatedly, they're having a tough time finding people. Are you, um, are you sort of catering to those, you know, would-be actors and actresses? And if that's the case, are you fully staffed? We are working on that. We're always hiring. Uh, we are definitely looking for uh, people to work here that, uh, uh, the the staffing problem that you've heard about on the news everywhere it's a real thing so we're dealing with it too and as soon as like our hours right now are up and down until we are fully staffed and we can do a full full shift here and there so yeah if if you got the attitude and you got the uh, the saltiness. The go for it. <laughs> yeah, the saltiness, there you for go. sure. There I think you Scott go. and I and anybody in television news, we have some uh, Facebook followers, Twitter followers. We'll send them your way. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> they get salty sometimes. Yeah, and anytime you guys want to, you know, get, get out from behind the desk and get a job here, come on down. <laughs> we got a place for you. We take out our stress on the customers. There that, you go. You know, that'll I be love good. it. Get paid to do it. Hey, thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate it. Thank you. Best of luck. Thank you. Y'all have a good one. You too.